guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right towards the final episode of Yamada Kun. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh. Okay, I thought we were not gonna do openings today because there's no final episode and such, but. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I feel like I'm gonna be a mess after this. In both ways. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be sorry. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Maybe. I'm telling him everything. I'm so proud of you.
Okay. Keep crying. Keep crying. It's okay. Okay, let's just, you know, let's go get drunk. Let's go get drunk and get some alcohol. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, damn. You okay? No, 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 no. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I know. I know, baby. Are smart, sophisticated baby. Yeah. <laughs> But see, something also to kind of tells me Yamada might be the one to confess that I, like, as much as I would love Akane to do it, because it's typical, the girl does it. We'd love to see a guy do it. So you must get the major discounts. Uh, 
not funny that everybody he knows is all here. Or me. Melon. Goodbye. This is heaven. Oh my god. We made it. Oh my god, I'm gonna... I mean, you can still have new members, but if you guys secretly still want to do things as this group together, there's nothing wrong with that. But there's nothing also wrong with adding new people in. Oh my god, Connie! <laughs> But alcohol is good. <laughs> yeah, and at least give Akane some so she can, like, at least sober up. Oh my god. Don't throw up. Look at that ass like, yep, this is the woman I'm in love with. <laughs> I don't remember, you know, you're trying to sober up, but...
right? Including you. Don't break them. Wait, hold her hand. <laughs> Be brave. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you ended up fucking down. Well, that looks good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
literally me and my girlfriends. <laughs> Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Like I am, mm -hmm. I am a mature woman. Here we roar, but then he said something. And be like, no, I'm gonna get it again. Okay. Final thoughts on this. That's why so I am good. Oh my god. I, finally. We end on a show looking at any romance series. Typically in a show during romance. 50 out of 50. We end the show with them officially getting together or we end it where it's the possibility of them getting together and you know. But I am happy that we end this show off with them officially together and now going out on dates and just doing cutesy shit together. Like, uh, just in that confession was just so cute. I love how the fact that she literally womaned up and was just like, okay, I gotta nip this in the butt because if I don't, I'm gonna regret this, like, for days to come. And, and as I even said last week with you confessing to your significant other that you have a crush on them, you know, yes, and if they don't reciprocate those feelings, you know, it is okay. Rejection hurts. We all even saw it in this episode and how, you know, truly sometimes it can break a person a lot. And, you know, you're just like, how am I supposed to wash my sorrows down on this? Some of us do drinking. I don't do it all the time, but I do it sometimes. Um, and such. And then, you know, you're on like a freaking <laughs> Discord call with your girlfriend and just being like, he says <laughs> And they're just like, it's okay. Yeah, you're fine. Or like all three of you are just, you're just like crying. <laughs> I'm just going, I don't really go to anything on FaceTime. You're just like, I'm never going to find anybody who fucking likes me. And such. And we just, we do that because, you know, that's what the fuck we do as women. But, oh. Uh, 
good. I, I mean, seriously. Uh, as I said in my tweet before I watched the episode, I was like, oh, are we going to get a hint of season two? Maybe. No. And I'm surprised even now we didn't get something. I would have wanted to see something where it says, like, hey, to be continued in season two. But I get it. It's just I literally, I'm not going to say hate. I will maybe say more dislike. I dislike the approval of when all these shoujo romance shows come out. And they're stupid good, like hella fucking good. And then we never get like a season two to see these characters like continue on in their relationship and such. We normally get it with like other shows that the main thing is not romance. It could be comedy with like a hint of romance, which I'm not mad at. I do love those types of shows as well. But I, I just, I want more romance shows to get another season two so that I can gush about them. Like, I mean... I would have loved if Love is Hard for Otaku to kind of get a second season when I finished that. How many ever, like, what, five years? Nope. Two, three years ago, before pre-pandemic and such, when I reacted to that show, even though technically with their sequels, we only got, like, OVA episodes, but it would have been nice to get, like, an equivalent of a second season. There still is a potential with season two with this because it does make you wonder, like, oh, hey, chapter-wise, where are they? I think, I don't think they're on chapter 69 yet, but, you know, it does still, once again, even though that was the only chapter I read at the time, um, but it does make me want to read wherever this portion stops at to see, because, like, my biggest thing is since Akane now has a boyfriend, we gotta look at my girl Momo because, like, yes, I need Momo to get a guy. Like, I, as much as I love Momo being that, you know, girl who loves to go out, independent bad bitch, just like Akane, but Akane got a man, but independent bad bitch over here and who still wants to be in a relationship with someone super bad, but not, th there's a line and she has not crossed that line. I've seen people cross that line and such so I hope that if we got a season two she would just be wary of okay yeah maybe I should wait a little bit longer and stuff focusing on myself and then you know you never know I could be like at like a random bar or something or once again you could just play the fucking game Momo <laughs> um because you never know who you gonna find Momo and, and just you know conversation with that or anything once again this show and so many other shows like it and even freaking online dating and shit like that like you never know where you're going to find like your next significant other but at the same time you do want to be wary about someone who you talk to because you don't really know if they're 100 percent legit hello catfish is there for a fucking reason but i mean yeah overall this was really good definitely would love to rewatch it again i already know myself i'm going to rewatch it again but the good thing is his stay you for yamada is gonna come back next week as my baby and hunting me so i'm so excited to hear him again it's like freaking um what's his face from uh aquadama drive where like literally i was watching three shows with him and we're just continuing the cycle so yes i get to hear more of my baby next Either next week or the week after. But I'm so happy because <laughs> my crush on him is too fucking much. I mean, well, no, because see, like, before it was this and, and Blue Lock, and I'm not done with Blue Lock yet. So I get to hear him as Ren, and so we get to continue that with Miyamoto and Ren. So regardless, happy girl, happy woman right now. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards the entire first season of Yamada-kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, I thought was today. Um, really, for me. Summer, summer anime starts tomorrow. So, for the premiere of Love Life, Sunshine, Sunshine in the Mirror. And then the following week for the continuation of summer anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!